the biggest old firm game for years. It's being billed as a title decider. It might not do that, but it'll be tough. It'll be rough. Don't sit too close. That's going going through a chance here to score. That's a brilliant. is buzzing. It's a two-horse race at the top. Rangers are three points clear. Celtic know that they have to win here. Do that, and it's wide open. It won't have gone if they lose, but it will be a good deal harder. If you've never seen one of these matches, don't move. You won't be disappointed. Coming up, the old firm, the top two in the Bell Scottish Premier. Rangers, the leaders, against Celtic, who have been chasing hard all season. They've waited a long, long time for an afternoon like this. And what an afternoon we've got in prospect. It's Ibrox first in about a quarter of an hour or so. Can Celtic level things off at the top? After that, it's Elland Road for us. Leeds United against Everton. They're pushing hard for a place in Europe right now. Leeds go to Anfield on Wednesday for that FA Cup quarterfinal replay. So this gives us a chance to see what sort of mood they'll be in. Leeds United against Everton after that. Now, given the events in Scotland this week, well, it puts a lot of things into perspective. There'll be a minute silence before the game today at Ibrox. After that, Andy, it's down to business for one of the biggest old firm games in years, surely. Uh, I don't think that's an understatement, Richard. Uh, for the first time since 1991, we've actually got a title race in Scotland since Aberdeen chased Rangers all the way to the last game of the season. And Celtic have been threatening this season. One wondered whether they could sustain it. And full credit to, to them. They have sustained it. And when you look at the league table as it stands now, I mean, that, that's, that's great to see. A, a genuine championship tussle. Aberdeen in third place, 21 points adrift. Such is the goal difference there. So, the Rangers still have the advantage should they lose today, but it's a biggie, isn't it? It really is a biggie. They've met on four occasions this year, these two, three in the league. Celtic have yet to win one, but Tommy Burns started the season desperate to end Rangers' domination in Scotland. That's good play, good footwork. Looking for Clellans. Great header! game at Ibrox proved to be a classic. This is Tom. There's Tom's going to try one here. Oh, that is an incredible goal by Andreas Tom. It's a goal. This is Gascoigne. Now it's Gascoigne forcing it through. Chance on here for Lodrup. Tom, who strikes it, chooses well forward. Wins for a penalty kick there, which was challenged, and it's given. John Collins starts his run. And it's gone in. Again, Dobbs forward, so does Petrick. And there's a good bit of movement to the far side of the box. And that's going strikes it in. And it's well. Super 
traditional New Year's derby. Donnelly doing well. There's no one uh, really helping him to the left. Coming from a deeper position was the willing O'Donnell. McNamara outside him. O'Donnell goes to the glory himself. Touch onto the post. I want to see him again from Andy Gordon. Walter Smith against Tommy Burns, Rangers against Celtic, who are unbeaten in 26 games. Is there a St. Patrick's Day celebration in prospect for them? We're at Ibrox, first up, Rangers against Celtic. It's being billed as a title showdown. They don't come much bigger. All the action, next. Sorry. You're a great driver. Spirito di punto. <laughs> there is no way you'll get me on that. Well, if you're going to wimp out, hang on to this lock. Anything else while I'm standing here? No, no. Now stand back, because I'm going here. Oh, hey. oh, no! Pick up a new Cadbury's pocket pack. Five chunky fingers of Cadbury's dairy milk with the great taste of a glass and a half of fresh, creamy milk in every half pound. Traditionally proved though, the finest mozzarella cheese, wafer-thin wood-smoked ham, Sicilian oregano, Of all the great Italian passions, this is still the greatest. And the inspiration for San Marco, the pizzas with the truly Italian taste. Last year, this man convinced over 30,000 of you to part with your money. A hundred million pounds has already passed through his company's accounts. He promised to help you avoid paying tax. He promised not to take any commission. And with no salesmen and low charges, he's done exactly what he promised. He is the chairman of Virgin Direct. To find out how you can invest in one of our PEPs, call 0345 959595 now. Virgin Direct, straight down the line. Great action in April live on Sky Sports. Snooker's best contest the prestigious British Open. There's Premiership football and the race for the title builds to a climax. England take on Croatia and there's also Scottish Cup football. It's cricket Caribbean style with New Zealand's tour of the West Indies plus comprehensive coverage of the Benson and Hedges Cup. There's World League American football. And that man Fogarty will be turning on the heat with continuing coverage of the Super League. That's April's lineup on Sky Sports. It's Leeds against Everton next. First up, Rangers against Celtic. 239 previous meetings. What a history this game has got. 
extraordinarily, in the last 19 meetings, the home side has just won on three occasions. So more often than not, the advantage with the side playing away from home. Rangers, 6-5 to favourite, 11-5 to five Celtic, 15-8 to eight the draw. Van Hoydon, better odds than Super Alley at 9 to 2. McCoy's 5 to 1, 6 to 1 Gascoigne, 6 goals in 6 games, 14 in total now for Gascoigne. Andreas Tom, 8 to 1, Collins, 12 to 1. This is the gambler's page. Laudra, 9 to 1, 66 to 1, McKinley the outsider. Andy Gray, you've played in these games. Can you remember one in recent history where there's been so much hinging on the outcome? Uh, no, Richard, no, honestly. I can't remember the last time we, we got into this late in the season and we played an old firm game and there was something on it. Usually by now, Rangers in the last five, six, seven years with regards to Celtic had the league tied up. Aberdeen were the main challenges most recently. So for the old firm, this is, this is something special. And it is. For Rangers, I think, they, they would be quite happy. If Walter Smith, you could give him a point now, he'd take it, go away quite happily, and try and finish the league off then. Terry the Venables, we're just sitting down. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. They're all in this afternoon, aren't they? Well, he's up to see Paul Gaston, the there's no doubt of that. Um, Paul, recently reports from Scotland, have suggest that Paul has got himself together. Not only is he playing with all the talent that we know he's got, and all the ability, he started putting goals into that talent as well, which have been six and six, you mentioned it. And, <laughs> Stuff like this, you know. And I think he's got a stage up there at the moment where he's really enjoying it. He's, he's at a huge club. He's a star there. And he's responding to the adulation in many ways. And this Gascoigne getting it and running at people, it's what he did at Tottenham when he was really at his best. Being a threat in the last third, doing things like that. But, I mean, mere mortals would find hard to do, but he just finds it so easy. I mean, that's... That's second knowledge. I mean, he just goes and does that without even thinking. Our Rangers are a little edgy. There's a, a, a feeling about Celtic today, isn't there? There is, because you mentioned the statistic that the away side invariably does better, and I've noticed that over recent years. That's what's happened. I don't think Rangers will be that edgy. They want to get this game out of the way, I think. They've got the greatest respect for Celtic this season, what, they've, what Tommy Burns has said they've achieved, and the pressure that they've put them under. Now, Celtic may be 25 points better off this season, and I think everyone is saying how wonderfully well they've done. And you've got to give that side in the picture some credit. Do you know they're 12 points better off at this stage of the season than they were last year? I mean, that says an awful lot about this side, who have had a lot of injuries, who have at times had no recognised front men to play with. They've been chopping and changing. And I think it says great things for them that they've managed to get 12 points more than they had this time last year. Do you think Gascoigne looks edgy? <laughs> they're ready. No sign of Celtic who are keeping them waiting. It's always an interesting psychological battle that goes on pre-match, isn't it? I think they're just waiting there, ready. They're keen to get on with it. Tommy Burns probably just getting a few things said. It is a big day for them. I think Celtic would take a point and go away from here as well, Richard. But do I you really? I do. I honestly believe they'd, they'd take a share of the spoils. But I think Celtic, of the both sides, can't afford to lose the game. See, Rangers would be, presumably be happy with a draw, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they? Sad. Like, so both teams want to win the game. I think that's fair. But I think both would take a draw. Rangers can lose the game and still go on and win the title. But I think Celtic, to win the title, can't afford defeat today. I think that'll be in the back of the night. He's on his own there for a moment. It's a four much day, but they, the rest of the Celtic team have joined him. They do look fairly relaxed as well, don't they? They're confident, that's why. Both teams in good runs. It's a huge game. In ordinary circumstances, these are extraordinary circumstances. They're calling it a title decider. Let's go to Ibrox and join our match commentators this afternoon, Billy McNeil and Rob Hawthorne. And it truly is an awesome atmosphere that these two teams are coming out to at Ibrox. A wall of noise generated by these passionate supporters for what is already being billed as the derby of the decade. A match that normally symbolises more than football, but football really this week has been put into perspective by the tragedy at Dunblane. And before the match, the teams stand in a minute's silence.
bridge built across British football's greatest divide in solemn memory of the youngsters and their teacher who died in Dunblane last week. For today's match, Rangers without long-term injury Richard Goff are relieved to have Gordon Petrich fit after he sustained a hip injury in the Scottish Cup tie against Caledonian Thistle last week. With David Robertson suspended, Alex Cleland comes in on the left and the return of Stuart McCall displaces Peter Van Vossen. Eric Bo Anderson is on the bench, Ali McCoy is retained. Billy McNeil. Yeah, it's an interesting lineup, and I think Stuart McCall's got a great responsibility to win that midfield battle in there to give Gascoigne that little bit of space and room. Celtic have made three changes to the team that scored twice in the last two minutes against Dundee United. Tommy Boyd returns after suspension. John Collins makes a comeback after injury. And Phil O'Donnell makes his first start since January the 20th. He comes in for Simon Donnelly. Yeah, I think Tommy Barnes has really recognised that that midfield area is going to be so vitally important. And he's put in John Collins, he's put in Phil O'Donnell there. The worry for, for me would be if he can provide a little bit of width that he needs at times. Well, Celtic have already been formed in their pre-match huddle to motivate themselves, but no motivation needed as Jim McCluskey, today's referee, prepares to get the match underway. Rangers, very much the standard bearers in the Scottish Premier League, start the match. Celtic have been winning a lot of plaudits this season for artistic merit and the sort of football that they've been playing. But Rangers have been winning when it matters. And coming into this match, that's the key thing. Rangers always seem to pull things out of the bag when it matters most. Ibrox, the place to be. All these players have been fending off thousands of inquiries all week from people requesting tickets for the match. John Brown's experience will be crucial for Rangers. And these first five minutes, crucial for players on both sides, no matter how much experience they've got, their first touch will be crucial to settle themselves. Ball turned into touch by Alex Cleland for a throw into Celtic. It's the 240th league derby. Rangers very much have had the advantage. They've won 93 compared with Celtic 74. But Celtic know that the onus is on them to get the right result here today because victory for Rangers and the title could all but be decided. An early break from Brian Laudrup. McCoist has gone into the middle. Joined in the attack by Craig Moore. And the ball is turned behind for the first corner. And the first real test that this Celtic defence has faced from the kicking of Brian Laudrup. But Laudrup's placed it in fact for Gascoigne to take. going with a kick. He's really hyped up for this occasion. Andreas Tom. He doesn't think he's 10 yards away, Gascoigne. Woo! Petrich was in there. And Celtic survive. All hit by McStay against McCoist. who's a hardy veteran of these sort of battles wins the referee's verdict it's Tosh McKinley Tommy Boyd restored to the Celtic first team after suspension that's Grant to Van Hoydonk He's going to be a tricky customer for Rangers to deal with, as they know already from the previous meeting between the teams earlier in the season, when he scored the equaliser that left the match at 3 all. It's a good ball from McStay to McKinley. And they're looking to set Collins away. Stumbled by Moore. Might have given the opportunity that he sensed, but 
Petric was there. The pressure on McLaren from Collins forces him to concede the throw. What about the early exchanges then, Billy? It's quite interesting because Celtic are obviously trying to create a little bit of width with, with O'Donnell and Collins. But I think down this right-hand side, O'Donnell's going to try and attract Alec Clellan to allow a little bit of space to, to occur there so that Mike Namara can break into that from, from deeper positions. Here's Gascoigne. What sort of new role he be in today? Are we to see the magic or the mystery of the night? Scored plenty of goals for Rangers this season, but he's also collected a lot of bookings, a dozen along the way. Gascoigne. Ladrup and Gascoigne, the two players whose magic could really turn the match in the home side's favour. Here's Jackie McNamara, who's on duty with the Scottish under-21 side in Hungary in the week. Number 11, Collins. This is Boyd. Clearance by Brown, straight to Grant. Clearance goes to Miller. Petrich. Rangers looking to get into that passing stride, and that one's going to stray from Miller. McNamara. O'Donnell, Cleland has gone within. And it was an unfortunate stumble from the Celtic man, and what were we saying about the first five minutes being so crucial for players settling themselves? That won't be too helpful to O'Donnell. Challenge from Hughes on the foist. The call in there to challenge John Collins. The call such a committed and workmanlike player. Here's Boyd. Petrich and McLaren covering. A call under pressure from McStay has tipped it forward. This is Laudra. The course to run into the area and Hughes' challenge there. Will require some action. Laudra claims he's been hit in the face by Hughes. He certainly caused a problem as early as this in the game, and I don't think there's an intentional knock there, but uh, possibly bearing in mind that this game and the attitude of the fan, the, the referee was right to, to give a foul. The free kick, but no more. Certain allowances may have to be made, certainly in the early exchanges of a match like this, with the tension rife. It's Gascoigne's free kick. McCoyster was going for it, but Hughes was up there behind him. Here's Moore. Can't squeeze it across. Clearance made by McNamara to Collins. McNamara again. Van Hoydonk's available on the right-hand side, but he can't find him. Goalkeeper Marshall now has. Big six feet five inches tall striker Van Hoydonk. Playing it into the sort of position where they would have hoped Van Hoydock himself was. Tom was there and he was offside. Van Hoydock and Tom really have linked up so well this season for Celtic. 
to have. They've been a very promising partnership, but in that situation, I think Andreas Tom's got... He can see across the line at the back, and he really shouldn't strengthen an offside position there. Celtic won the championship under Billy McNeil's stewardship. And Rick Stay on that occasion scored a crucial goal in the March match against Rangers, which Celtic won on their way to taking the title. In the build-up to this game, people have been straining to remember one more significant. Three points to gap at the top. Celtic know that they're one tantalising win away from drawing level on points with Rangers who dominated the Scottish League with seven successive wins. Gascoigne trying to show his trickery and McStay initially cut it out. The call keeps the ball rolling for Rangers and this is Lauda. Gascoigne's moved up ahead. Well read by John Hughes. Burst on here for Boyd. The call trying to track the run. Van Hoydonk available on the right-hand side. This is Andy Tom, trying to find a way through, Boyd's continued his run, McCall was desperately trying to get back there, but it was goalkeeper Gorham who had to throw his body at Boyd's effort. Superb run, run by Tom Boyd, this is in the solar ploy, Andreas Tom keeps his head, sends the ball in there, but all credit to Stuart McCauley, doesn't let go of the opportunity that afforded itself to Boyd in. At the end of the day, it pushes him at that tight angle to allow the goal through to make the save. Kinley's corner coming out to Tom. And they were trying to rescue it in the form of John Hughes. But it had actually gone behind the line. Careless marking it to back by, by Rangers here. And it allows Andreas Tom a header there, but nothing that's ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. All back with Gordon Marshall, his opposite number, Andy Gorham, already pressed into action. Gorham, a key figure in the fact that the scoreline was nil-nil in the previous meeting of the sides. That was a New Year's meeting at Celtic Park. And Phil O'Donnell, who's playing today really pressed Gorham into action on that occasion with a shot that he had to tip onto the post. And the early indications are that Rangers will have to rely on their trusty goalkeeper again. That's going, allowing Tom to progress no further, and while Tom lies injured, play continues to flow, but that ball from Loudrup is too short for Clement. Tom is standing again, not looking too comfortable still after that challenge from Gascoigne, but gradually running the injury off. McKinley. Here's Tom. Solid challenge from McLaren to prevent Van Hoydonk getting there. They're looking for Van Hoydonk now. Clearance by Brown. McStay. Here's Tom. Rangers fans voicing their displeasure at what they saw as an exaggerated reaction to Gascoigne's challenge. This is McNamara. Paul McStay. Can unleash a pretty useful shot, McStay, if he gets in the right positions. McKinley has won the throw in. Three Celtic players inside their own penalty area. Van Hoydonk, Tom and O'Donnell are all in there. It was aimed towards Tom. That was John Brown reaching with the headed clearance. Gascoigne. Now he's fouled by 
John Collins. It's tough at the moment, the midfield. There's a lot of tackles going in there, and I think the referee was right there. John Collins claimed he got the ball, but I don't think he did. O'Donnell sticking with him. Good skills from Loudrop, a tricky cross. McCoy will attack it. Gordon Marshall knows he's going to be in for a battery. Superb skills from Loudrop. It really is intricate stuff, and he makes enough room for himself. Sends the ball too close to the goalkeeper, but uh, well taken by the goalkeeper. But lovely ball into the middle. Lovely bit of play before it as well from Loudrop. Stay. And this is McNamara pressing for a call up to the full Scottish squad with the performances he's been turning in this season. O'Donnell has lost out. Miller's initial challenge. This is Gascoigne. Ladrup. And the pass sold Gascoigne short. McStay has run it. This is Tom. The two Rangers defenders between he and Van Hoydonk is moving into the middle. Tom taking on Brown. And a corner. The best bet there for Andreas Tom. 